Welcome to my Anno Hotel. I would like to talk about about my guinea pigs this year, 2014. Right, this is a book all about guinea pigs. Um, it's actually quite good actually when you bring guinea pigs. Um, you can play with them, you can give them food, lettuce or any sort of things you had to give them. So this is the stuff you had to give them like once or twice or eat the food and yeah so that's what I like guinea pigs. Rabbits normally we breed them like one or two twice a week but they're quite cute when they first be babies so that's when they give birth or looking after them as well. What we do inside the book here um, it is very enjoyable and yeah, they're quite good pets. And the chickens as well. I hatched out chickens last year. Had about 24 eggs and I hatched out different breeds of chickens. So um, that's what we do really, so very interesting. And last but not least, all about dogs. When we're working with dogs in our movies, we need to start training them what skills they need to do what breed of dog and uh, that's basically it really and my next episode I'll show you my animals so I'll see you soon this is a Bernese cattle dog she is from Switzerland heavyweight male A5 to 110 pounds 39.50 to kg female 80 105 pounds 36 and 48 kg height male 25 to 27.5 inches 64 and 70 cm female 23 to 26 inches 58 66 cm coat double color Black, rust and white. Litter size 1 to 14 puppies and 8. And lifespan 6 to 8 years. Welcome to my chickens. Today I'd like to talk about how I raise them as babies. So like basically what I do is I incubate them when they first born out. Like chickens, like bell chicks. And uh, I'll tell you how many days they hatch out, 21 days, and we have uh, different sort of chickens. You can have white Sussex, hybrids, and uh, Red Island Reds. So that's the breeds of the chickens, but you've got more than that, but yeah, it's very, very interesting oh, about chickens. Like, I made a film all about chickens, I made bed watching, and uh, me and my cousin, me, Richard Allo and uh, he done really really well doing this and hopefully he's been uploading this on YouTube anyway talking about chickens here um, chickens are very hard to keep um, you need to do worming like you need to do powder like with the body of the chicken you need to do shows with your chickens you need to start breeding them uh, sometimes in the summer or spring, normally that's the way to do it. In the winter time, no, we can't breed them because I'll tell you why. Because it's very cold this time of year and that's the reason why we don't breed chickens this year. But I'll let you know for the next episode then. We're going to talk about turkeys in our next episode, so we are gonna thank you very much for turkeys. Start thinking of wow, should I do that or should I do this then? So 
I think Turkey's going to be best this year. So I really look forward to this. And I'll tell you the sound of the, of the turkey. Gobble, 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 gobble. I'm going to be listening to that in the morning. And I'm looking forward to see them. Thanks. Welcome to my animal centre. Right, these, I've got two rabbits now, and uh, how to look after them, put hay, food, water, and uh, sawdust, your bedding. So what we do for looking after them, Make sure you hold them, make sure you like them, make sure you love them, make sure you just play around with them, okay? But these ones are very massive, they're very big, so I have to handle them. So uh, I have to control them every time. I turn them outside, run around. Um, we do loads of fun things together, me and my darlings, we can see down there. And uh, that's what we do for the Our Animal Hotel and uh, being as an animal trainer so hopefully it goes well this year right being as a guinea pig farmer like Pen, Lewis and Chloe what you do you put newspaper down first then after that you put sawdust down and then afterwards you put the food and water in foot in second time and then afterwards we put a little hut in there little hut there inside the cage you can put in put hay in there and put the guinea pigs afterwards so that's how to look after guinea pigs, okay? So, um, hopefully I'll see you soon. And thanks again, cheers. This is the sawdust and hay. Like, if you want to clean out your animals, you'll always make sure you clean them out. With your different stuff, okay? So you've got shavings, and you've got different sort of shavings for bedding. And then you put uh, hay down as well. So... This is the stuff you need to use for looking after your animals perfectly. This is the playground what I normally um, take them out and they start playing around. Like, do like the tunnel? Do like running around? Do like exercising? So that's what you do being as an animal trainer. You need to start training them up into movies or into films. So being as an animal trainer, I need to start organising it, you see. So I need to get a lead on the rabbits and start exercising. So um, yeah, it's very, very hard work being as an animal trainer. You've got guinea pigs to train, you've got rabbits to train, you've got dogs to train, donkeys and different other animals. So what I normally do in the morning, I normally uh, take them outside. Um, so like the rabbits go on the far corner to the left. And the guinea pigs are to the right hand side. So that's what we do. We take them outside and they normally um, graze the grass and eat them. So it looks happy days for me. So happy days. So yeah, that's what we do for looking after guinea pigs and rabbits. Just take them outside and they graze. So if it's a good weather, yes I do that. If it's a bad weather, no I don't. I put them inside. So that's what we do. We take them outside every once or twice a week. This is the end of the animal hotel acting.